Hello, and welcome back to The Fool's Journey. We last left off with The Fool meeting the magician and being told by him to seek out the High Priestess to help him find his way on this journey he's undertaking. While heading through a forest, the weather changed and The Fool had to seek out shelter, which, lucky for him, he found with items that would aid him on his journey. The items being a golden coin pentacle, a cup, a staff, and a sword. The weather shortly let up, and the fool continued on his way, searching for the high priestess. The fool has no idea which direction he should go in through the forest. This is his first time traveling like this, and he starts to doubt himself and this journey he's on. The fool shakes those thoughts, though, from his head and takes a deep breath. The fool looks around and chooses a direction he wants to go in. Using the staff as a walking stick and trusting his instincts, the fool sets off. After feeling as if he were walking for hours, the fool would then rejoice, for he finally found a way out of the forest and into a clearing. In the distance, the fool saw two pillars standing and what looked to be a person sitting in between them. The fool makes his way to the person and upon getting closer, he can see that the pillars are part of a shrine and the person sitting in between them is a woman and she's reading some type of scroll. Hearing the fool approach, the woman looks up, sees him and gives him a sigh of slight annoyance. The fool now stands in front of the woman, who looks almost like a nun to him. What is it that you want? The woman asks the fool. I'm seeking out the high priestess, the fool responds. The woman sits up and then stands. What you seek, you found. Now what is it that you want? She asks again. The fool is taken aback by the forwardness of the high priestess. The fool's only response is, I don't know. Annoyed, the high priestess sits down and tells the fool to think about what it is he wants and why he sought her out. And that's the thing about the high priestess. She's straightforward, a little sassy, and while on the surface she comes off as mean, in truth she's very caring and she has a tendency to know more than she lets on. Yes, she likes her time away from people and prefers not to be bothered. But if you come to her, she won't turn you away. She tries to get people to think, to use common sense, and trust their own intuition when it comes to decision making and life in general. This is partially why she doesn't share all the information she has at once. She wants you to figure it out for yourself using your own intuition, your own smarts, your own brain. The High Priestess represents inner knowledge, intuitiveness, the unknown, and the beginning of opening up one's spirituality. She pushes you to open that third eye and feel the energies around you and to go with your gut. However, if she comes up reversed, then we're looking at a type of self-sabotage, not trusting yourself, repressing your intuitive thoughts, and basically all around ignoring what your subconscious and inner voice are guiding you to do. The high priestess is us when we listen to ourselves and fully embrace our intuitiveness. Perhaps not as straightforward as her, but certainly just as understanding of our inner selves. After taking some moments to give thought as to what the high priestess has said, the fool stands and walks back over to the high priestess who looks at him with a blank expression on her face. Once again, the high priestess asks, what is it that you want? And this time the fool answers, I want to know who I am and I want to find my path. Can you help me? The high priestess stands and smiles. No. No, I can't help you, but I can show you the way for you to help yourself, she replies. No one can tell you who you are or what your path in life is. Only you yourself can do that, and you must trust and have belief in yourself. After all, 
it's trusting your intuition that led you to me, is it not? The fool stands quietly and lets the high priestess's words sink in. He knew she was correct. This is just the beginning of listening to your intuition, but you're going to need more as the journey you're on is long, tiring, and harsh. You should go to town and seek out the emperor. I feel he has advice that will suit your practical needs. The fool nods his head and starts to leave, heading in the direction of the forest from whence he came. The high priestess rolls her eyes in annoyance and clears her throat, gaining the attention of the fool. The town is that way, she says, pointing in the opposite direction the fool was heading. And with that, the fool continues his journey, unsure where it'll take him, but strong in the belief that it will help him ultimately discover who he is. And this is where we will end it for now. Thank you all for joining the fool on his continuous journey and if you enjoyed be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more unexplained possibilities content also be sure to follow unexplained possibilities on facebook twitter reddit and instagram and i will be seeing you on the next leg of the fool's journey <laughs>